Howdy folks, Nathan coming at you from Charlotte, North Carolina at the Speedway and this is the 60th anniversary Ford Mustang GT. Uh, now what we're looking at here has a variety of components on it built in homage of the original Mustang from, well, depending on how you say it, 1964 and a half or 1965. Anyway, let's talk about this car and then we have a slew of other vehicles here commemorating the 60th anniversary. So beginning with this vehicle, let's start at the front. You do have a unique grill, and that's including functional air intakes. The headlights have been altered slightly. Let's go to the wheels because they're one of the bigger stories here. That's because these are 20 inch wheels. And if you look very carefully, you're going to see Ford Mustang emblem. Very similar to the look, or at least the feel of the 1965 original. But then there's more because you have this. What? Let's see if I can get a closer look. Now, if you recall, original Mustang did have emblems on it. They didn't say this, but the location is similar, as is the shape. All right. Mirror caps are unique. We'll talk about the colors in just a second, but there are some unique colors. There we go. Let's travel alongside here. That says 60 years. There's two colors available with this side sticker. This is red, and then there is a silver. This is a vermilion. Yep, that's the color. All right, real quick, the interior, not a whole lot that's different than the regular GT, except for that. Now, why is that special? Well, because Ford is going to be building 1,965 of these. Convertible and coupe. All right, I'm gonna just run past here. Oh, excuse me, guys. Oh, that's cool. Not much of a difference from the back, except get another very large badge. And slur up. There we go. One more shot of the interior. There's two different, in, or actually three different interior colors. We'll talk about that in a sec. Let me try to move around here a little bit. This is a fan event, so it's not just a media event. Okay, so there are a few different colors. Let's talk about that. Exterior colors, race red, Wimbledon white, and vapor blue. This is Wimbledon white, and it is supposed to be very similar to the Wimbledon white used in the original 1965 Mustang. Now the interior colors are silver, sorry. Um, <laughs> they are space gray, not silver gray. Space gray, um, red, and black onyx. That might be carmine red or crimson red. Um, okay. So let's talk about what this vehicle is. Hey, how you doing? It's good to meet you. It is a Mustang GT, meaning of course it's got the Coyote five liter engine. That is the only way you can get these vehicles. You're not able to get them with the four cylinder turbo. This is it. Um, so this is going to be available the fourth quarter of 2024. Uh, you can start making your orders at the beginning of this summer. Pricing will not be available until later on. So unfortunately, I can't give you pricing on it. But what I can say is that this is extremely limited. Once again, 1,965. This is the first generation, at least the platform. This is a 67. But out in the crowd, there's some other ones, but this is a really pretty version. Look at this fastback here. Beautiful car. 
And then the infamous Mustang II. Now, a lot of you guys are not very keen on this because, well, let's face it, it is actually an extended Pinto. And I'm not even saying that to be a jerk. It's true, it shares its platform with the Pinto. Now, for those of you who might not know, the original Ford Mustang, well, it also shared its platform. So keep that in mind. That was a Ford Falcon platform it shared. So even though, yeah, it shared a platform with the Pinto, you were able to get uh, the eight. And one little bit of trivia, for a long time throughout the 80s, even into the 90s, the Ford Mustang II was remarkably popular because its platform was used in a lot of kit cars. Oh, in addition, these were huge sellers. They did very well for Ford. So despite the fact that they're not exactly loved, I mean, you know, what's not the love? You got a Lando top right here. They sold very well. Now, this is very dear to my heart. This one's a 1993 Cobra. Now, I had a 1993 GT that I sourced from a wrecking yard, which was my second Mustang, and I enjoyed the hell out of it. Fox body platform, which remained for a very long time. The thing that these actually have in common, this one, this one and the original, is the fact that they shared their platforms with other vehicles. Fox body, other vehicles used it and many components. The singles of the fourth generation. A lot of people thought that these were kind of marshmallowy, but I thought with the right trim they could look pretty good. Personally speaking though, the fifth generation is where things started looking cool again. Which they have right here. Pretty sweet, right? And then finally, over here, the sixth generation. Now the reason I say finally is because obviously there are seven generations, but this is the most recent one. And this particular one is a Shelby from 2018. Very nice, right? So going back across these cars, seventh generation, 60 years of Ford Mustang. In that time, they've managed to build a variety of different types. It's including four cylinders, six cylinders, obviously eight cylinders, and of course, for those of you who like or dislike it, electric ones. Yep, technically speaking, there is a four-door electric Ford Mustang called the mach -E, which is not in this particular pavilion, I don't know why, but this is. So we're ending here, and this vehicle, once again, will be going on sale in the fourth quarter of 2024, and prices will be coming later, and there will only be 1,965 of these being built. <laughs> if I said 1,964, I apologize. It's because I get confused with the 1964 and a half models, but you know how that is. Okay, guys, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.